going on guys uh so i made up this uh i made i, I made this uh under globe kit for my sister's charger um the thing i don't like about the under globe kits that you buy online or whatever is you have a fixed amount of wire to go from led to led and you have to just coil that up and it's not protected by the wire loom. You can easily do that, but uh, so this this is going to go underneath the back bumper area. This strip here is going to go on underneath the driver's side area, passenger side. Nothing up front. These uh these LEDs they look pretty. Very hard to solder. Uh, but they look pretty. They 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 give a that's like a neon, like the old school neon look to it. But you can see, so uh, I soldered and and shrink tubed, and so I've got a female plug here, or sorry, male plug here, female plug here. Okay, there's a junction right here. This is going to go up into the trunk. If you know anything about the charger. The fuse that I'm going to tap into is inside the trunk, so that's what this is all about. And then this goes to a male plug, and then my LED strip has a female plug on. Like I said, I went ahead and I, I soldered and I shrink wrapped and I, you know, everything. Um, and then, of course, so the, the current is going to go through the LED, through the strip, and it's gonna get plugged this is gonna get plugged into here and then this is just a little jumper wire this goes down the passenger side or sorry driver's side um and this is all that's all gonna get run up into the trunk there are some grommets and stuff that i can use um but yeah the the, the biggest reason i don't like these uh the kits that you buy online or you buy in store or whatever they've got a fixed amount of wiring uh it's really not customizable um the only thing you have to take into consideration with this and i, I don't know if these kits actually um have this information within the kit but obviously i'm gonna have to do an add a fuse um what size fuse i'm gonna have to get i don't know but um, I haven't really gotten too terribly involved in those calculations, but you can see essentially I'm going to have two branches because I'm going to have one branch go to here, then I'm going to have one branch go to here. So this branch here is going to have it's going to have more current draw because there's I've got two LED strips, and this has only got one LED strip. Um, but anyways, so that's kind of what we're sitting at right now. Just wanted to point that out to you. Um, it's easy to do. If you've got any soldering skills, it's easy to solder these the, to these uh, LEDs. You got to strip the, uh, you can see, I don't know if you've seen strips before, but this actually has more of a, it looks more solid, a solid color than than seeing the little dot, little the little individual LEDs. Um, so, anyways, that's it for now. Uh, I'll be shooting more videos in the future. Uh, still got to paint my truck. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you know I'm going to be painting the tailgate of my truck, uh, and I got to paint the silver car right there. I'm going to shoot it with Rust-Oleum Green. That's the, uh, the lights that I installed in my tr on the hood of my truck. So anyways, that's where we're at right now. Uh, if this gave you an idea, you're, you're interested in this, give it a like. If this is something that you or someone is thinking of doing, go ahead and share the video. Um, until my next video, I will talk to you later. All right, thanks. Bye.